of this. <clears throat> and let's have a look. I'll do it on this size sheet. I, I look here and I think, yeah, about there. And then I start sort of doing that. I've got my horizon about here. It's quite yeah, it's quite thin that bit there. Um so it comes here, it comes up there, massive mountain, sweeping tree. Um I'm not going to draw the clouds because you wouldn't do that. Then we've got this mountain here in the background. And that mountain sort of comes up into the... Sorry, I said I wouldn't draw the sky and I'll start to draw the sky. There we go. There's also something in the water here. Right, the next bit... This is some rocks. This is rock there. Another rock behind it. A rock here. Just pulling out the main bit. Something out in the water there. Rock thing comes up here. And then there's a massive big rock there. There. A lump here, another lump there, bit of a track. Don't want to get too involved. And then a rock sort of that's sort of that's sort of it really. On here there's a bit of there, there's a little few clumps of trees here on the horizon. There's trees over there. And there's lots of other bits and bobs going on. The shadow sort of here. Yeah. And there's a sort of light bit there and there. Let me just turn the lights down just a fraction. That's slightly better, I think. You can see better now, can't you? Um, the light is sort of here, here and there. And you've got bits on the rocks and this is all quite light. So, that's as much drawing. I think that's taken about four minutes to draw that, if that. And, and when you're doing drawing, that's as much as you should do. Don't try and get your head down and get too detailed and every tiny little, because you want it to be loose anyway. You just want it to be loose. You don't want it to be really tight, like a really involved drawing. It's it will suck all the energy out of it if you do that. Um, so, and again, if you, I like working sort of fairly big to this size, this 11 by 15 quarter imperial size. That's the, that's my large size painting. And a lot of my big paintings are, are that size, like that was as well, except I, I put some masking tape and made it very landscape shape. And shapes are important. So I'm going to get on with the first um, the first light wash and work out what to do. Um, right, let's get let's get um, a mop style brush. I think. Uh, that's a really nice silhouette there, isn't it? There's lots of green here. I need to put that on when it's dry, not before. I'm not going to paint up to that. It can go over that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So let's let's start to wet the paper. Got this 
nice brush, mop star brush. Just going to go around with these bits here. Just trying to see where. I've just left the hole there because there's, there's a bit of light there and there's a bit of light here as well. Are you using any colour, Frank? Yeah, I will do. No, right I, now, I it's, it's water, is it? I don't know what at the moment. I haven't. Hmm. I make a lot of this up as I go along, to be honest. I sort of. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? And I like going over the edge. you you got to get into the mood of sort of going over the edge. Right, OK. Um, I've, I've got some cerulean here. Maybe I should have pre-mixed some of these colours a little bit. But... Yeah. Down there as well. Nice bit of cerulean. <laughs> really in here just varying degrees of power now i'm gonna get i'm gonna break out some indigo i've not i haven't painted with indigo much lately i haven't i'm gonna add a, a little bit of um of sepia that is too much Miles too much. See how splattered things it doesn't matter. When you when you mix a cool like indigo with a warm CP, you get a neutral grey, which isn't bad. It's quite a heavy Don't mind that. I'm not going to fill that bit of white in. I like that bit of white. Still a bit wet. It's going to run a little bit, but don't mind that. See what a bit of some blue. Back to blue again. A bit wet. Lifting out now a little bit. <coughs> Slippery. <coughs> I'm not, you see bits like that. I'm not worried about that because when that's dry, I'm just going to get quite a strong, powerful um, here. That's That will be done when it's dry. What's that noise? And maybe pull a little bit out there. Oh, 
can't continue to fiddle here. I, I've got to stop at some point. It's it's a personal choice here. This is, I mean, this this is the scene we're trying to capture, but we have to do it our own way. We have to do it our own way. Maybe just uh, I won't lift out anymore. Just leave it. I don't mind the way it's sort of running a little bit. I think that's fine. I'm just going to shove in a bit of um, a bit of green up here because it's not um, it's a little bit of. Sorry, I need to just lift out a little. I've gone a bit. Should have left a bit of light on the horizon there. Just. Just, just want a little bit of light going on. Leave that light. Some raw sienna. Continuing with the raw sienna, some of those rocks. And you can go a bit mad with this first wash. That's the beauty of the first wash. You can always not worry too much about it. Just let things happen. I love it when things aren't like here. They're just running a little bit and they're not too defined. Try not to define everything. Try not to get hard edge. Be soft edge, soft edges. Just makes it look much slicker and uh, less contrived. And then as I come down, again, this old trick that I, I like every time, just start adding a little bit of orange, cad orange. It's as you come further down, you get closer. You want that warmth because it pulls things forward. Nicely. It's only the first wash, it doesn't. It's because it was very wet, it's beginning to fill up a bit. I would have liked more light here. There, I would have liked a bit more light. Just take that hard edge. I'm just using clear water here. Just breaking that down a little bit. But you have to be careful, you don't want tide marks. And I just try and lift a little bit out of here. It's getting a bit. And sort of worked. I quite like the blue. I like things. So that goes to one side. Right. And that's finished. Well, the, the first light wash is finished. Let's fill in that one. Right, this is where I can start adding some. You know, I've I've got my um. I've got my first wash, which is great. 
So now I need to look at what accidents have happened here that can actually help me. I don't want to block all this lovely lighting, do I? That's really quite nice there. I don't want to do that. But what I might do is just um, play around a minute. Let's see what I've got. Just going to come back to some brown. Mix some brown in with that blue. I want it too dark. It's hard to explain what color I've got there. I just picked up a bit of blue, a little bit of uh, sepia. We start playing around, not too thick. Not to, it looks sort of thick, but it's quite dark, but it's brush strokes that are important. Just, again, I'm going to come here. We get a bit of bit of. Um, I'm going to try and echo some of this dark. So, what did I use? I used indigo. I want to start to. And this is quite nice because it's it's dry, <laughs> so I'm getting a nice. Edge and some marks. It's <laughs> fine. So I just you can't see it when the light's shining on it, can there's nothing I can do about that. Just try and turn it down a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing. Just going to change now and get some more my sepia going to get really quite a bit brown now this is where you'd sort of need some variation Quite nice, that's powerful, is that's really strong. This is me now painting with a brush. Okay, I've got some pencil lines there, but so what am I doing? What am I doing at the moment? I'm looking at this bit and I'm keeping some of the light and I'm just making some, some marks. Come back 
come back later if I'm un unhappy, but. Shape. I mean, it, what's nice is this st strong edge, this silhouette with this nice soft sort of sky is sort of making it really quite, quite interesting. Just changing the route here a little bit. So we get a little bit of green in there with, with some of the sepia that I've already got in the brush. So it's quite a dark sort of green. Line. Oh, I want that to be bigger. I want that rock to come up. Might still be able to. I'm just getting into a little bit of stuff here. So it's already taking on a little shape. So just little bits of sort of calligraphy. I'm, I'm retaining lots of light. See, I'm I'm keeping light. I know that's gone dark there. But if you if you set off, you know, nice brush with a point, just doing calligraphy, trying to get that bit sort of working. Just want to get back to some of this brown in the water. I'm sort of looking, I'm looking at this bit at the moment. It's like a sliver. A sliver there, just get a little bit. Sorry, so I'm looking on the screen. It's hard to see because you're getting the. Um... I'm just trying to move the lights because I'm, I'm desperate to show you, <laughs> but then I can't see. That's the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Right, rock, rocks time. Um, just trying to work out what color these rocks are. They're sort of, they're neutral. So I think it's that moving towards some of the sepia again and some of the indigo. And we end up again with a, a pretty neutral looking color. This is classic watercolour painting here, I think, because we've got a lovely bit of wet and wet going on over here. You've got some bit of wet and wet reflection shadow stuff, which puts some, I, I just painted in things that sort of allowed me to paint it. I wasn't even looking anymore at that. I just thought those little streaks would be nice. I could be wrong, but now I need to, these bits, of, Really sort of dark. Some edge. It's gone a little bit. I can just keeping a track of time here. It's quarter two now. It's left a little bit out of there. Don't want it too dense. Remember to lift out as well. It's not just a question of putting pigment on paper. It's about moving it around and maybe taking it off as well. Just going to get some. In the dark green as well. I'm starting here. I'm going to move. Again, this is sort of Edward Wesson style of painting here. So you can do your own thing. You can do your own thing. You can leave, as long as you leave light, that space of light there is, is as important as that bit painted around it. This is one of the crucial things of watercolour landscape painting. It's not just putting pigment down, but it's, it's the negative process of leaving stuff, which is really important. I'm sort of on a bit of a roll here, so I'm going to carry on with this painting if that's all right. I might not be able to finish the other one, but but this is looking sort of interesting. I'm sort of sort of liking where it where it's going. Can I just come out here a little bit? What, what what I'm doing, just explain what I'm just looking at these formation of rocks here. That's sort of dry there.
Yeah, it's just getting this, just getting some shapes. That's all they are, just shapes. You know, this is the calligraphy time. Just leaving bits of white there. Quite a graphic, I sort of gone into a, a, a graphic mode, I suppose. I just want to get a bit of this green stuff on here. The yellow. I'm going to get it too fussy. That's the other slight worry. Again, very Western esque this painting. I don't know why. I, I think it's the sort of way he would have painted. Let's get some bit of brown. That's burnt sienna with that little bit of red that was already here. Just need that warmth. Just where that sort of path is, and a little bit round here as well. Oh, 
Uh, that's, believe it or not, that's done. <laughs> that is done. And I think if you can get anything from it, so where were we? I think this silhouette of that side of the mountain is really important. A nice hard edge against a very soft, wet and wet. I think just a little bit of a few little marks without getting into too much detail is good there. I think this big rock was an important pinch point, that rock, because it sort of pulled. I probably got it a bit bigger than it actually. Nobody's going to look at my painting and say, oh, that rock of yours, it's a bit big, isn't it? Who on earth would ever say that to me? Who, how would they know? They don't know. They're, they're not going to hold this photograph next to your painting when it's in the National Gallery and say, you, that rock was never that big. I think on here, on my painting, that rock is perfect for what it is. And I've managed to leave a sliver of light across the top. I I moved things. I had a drawing and I ignored my drawing because it was too low down. So I've cheated a bit. I Unfortunately, I haven't got that aligned with what's happening on that side, which slightly annoys me. There are certain things that annoy me, and that's sort of one of them. Um, this is really misty here. I've got a pencil line. I have to, here, I've got pencil lines. They're going to have to come off. Can't do anything until it's nice and uh, nice and dry. Um, but I don't want to do any more because it's supposed to be a quick and slick, fast and loose capture of, of tonal values of, of, of darks and lights making sure that I retain light. See my first wash, there's bits of it showing all the time, all the time, bits there, bits here, always light. If it was if it was too dark, I could, maybe that's a little bit light here. I don't mind it light there, but maybe a little wash here. Keep that light, but maybe go a bit darker there. I can, I can do that, but I might do that. That might be the last thing I do. Just a little bit of warmth. Just a little bit, just a little, just down to this point. So I've got a bit of variation between that's just slightly redder in there, and then that's kept a bit lighter there. That was a judgment call. Every painting that you do you go through little stages of judgment calls and you will do it. It's making sure you choose the right, the right one. That's the important one. Um, I think as a, as a watercolor, I, I've, in, I've been inventive down here because I didn't want to draw every, every rock, every nook, every cranny. I can't be asked to do that. It's too much for me. I've got my dark bits here. I've got that in very, very important rock. And they're, they're sort of important, but not as important as that rock, because that's got the sliver of light on the top of it. Right, that's that's it. I did use a few shadows on the foreground um, after I did the film, and it's now complete. It's job done. It's got a nice warmth to it, and it's got the lovely contrast with the cool sky. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and come and join me on Frank Watercolours whenever you can. Take care. Bye-bye.